Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of the Burnley section of Unknown to World Known. We are back today with an unexpected potential playoff. So since you were last with us, we've had some fantastic form. So if you're happy to hear that, please do leave a like down below. Hit subscribe if you're enjoying the content on the channel. And leave a comment what you think we can do next season. Now I've referenced a potential playoff just before we go into that. Since you were last with us when we lost to Tottenham and Brighton, after that, we beat Coventry 1-0, we beat Luton 2-0, we beat Sunderland 3-2, we beat Huddersfield 3-0, we beat QPR 7-1 in a game in which we only had 7 shots on target and an XG of 1.08, we beat Millwall 1-0, we beat Plymouth 4-0, Malpe with all 4 goals, we beat Bristol 6-1, and then most recently, we drew 1-1 with Birmingham, which was actually very disappointing because they are well and truly in a relegation battle, similar to our opposition today in Bolton. However, looking at the league, we are sat in ninth place. We are three points away from fourth. However, however, the, there is unfortunately a very unlikely scenario where we get into these playoffs because Coventry above us play Leeds who are top of the league they might drop points Middlesbrough play Sunderland who are currently in 12th not so likely Reading play Plymouth who are 18th Hull play Derby who are in 14th and finally Stoke play West Brom who are currently down in 19th so it's not very likely that enough goes in our favor that we get into the playoffs but you never know so our lineup today is Figueroa in goal Cassius Bramthwaite and Bevis and Hackett as the back four March as the right winger Kartsev and Arebo in midfield Churlinov on the left Malpe and Twine up front you'll notice Bevis he only made his debut for us a few games ago he's 18 years old he made his debut against Sunderland but he has been so impressive in his games that he's already become a first-choice centre-back in my book. So, yeah, let's keep him in the team. Bent has been coming off the bench quite a bit. He's played a fair few games for us now as well. Arebo has worked his way back into the team. We kind of dropped him, but his form recently has been amazing playing in that midfield. So hopefully we can pick up another win. The first highlight here is a Bur uh, Bolton goal kick, just because we played Birmingham last game. That, that's on my mind. Ball over the top is easily collected by a goalkeeper, and it looked a mile offside anyway. Figueroa sends it upfield towards Chernilov, who heads it on. He's going to get on the end of that as well. Transfer across here, knocks it back into the path of Rebo, who scores and puts us 1-0 up. We are going to make sure... We do our part. Malpe is on the ball here, taking it towards the right-hand side, lays it back off to Solly March behind him, who gets a cross in towards Malpe, doesn't reach him though, Rebo brings it down, lays it off to Hackett, who gets into the box, transfer across here, swings it across, March into the side netting. Morley with a free kick, Figuera with a fantastic save to deny Bolton an equaliser. And Hull are currently 2-0 up against Derby which would push them up into the top few West Brom have equalized against Stoke that's big for us so as things stand right now we would find ourselves in sixth place half time we're 1-0 up and if we have a look at the latest scores and the league table so we've got in our playoff battle Coventry are beating Leeds which would secure them in fourth Hull are beating Derby uh, elsewhere Sunderland are beating Middlesbrough so that's big Plymouth are beating Reading and Stoke and West Brom are currently drawing so a fair few results there currently the teams we need to be dropping points aren't just dropping points they're losing in a lot of those scenarios free kick from deep for Bolton sent in it's headed away it's only as far as turns who lays it off to Borthwick Jackson Switches play out to Jones, who brings it down past Malpe and puts it in the back of the net. Hmm. Another free kick for Bolton, this time 
it's Almedia Santos stood over it. And he plays it short to Dixon Peters. Morley out to the right-hand side. Chance for a cross here for Bolton. It comes to Jones, who blazes it over the bar. We're going to bring Traore on for Twine, who's not done a lot in this game. Neither has Malpe, but he's been in some fantastic form recently, so I can't bring myself to bring him off. Uh, Krunic will come on for Kartsev as well. I think we'll leave it at just those two for now. Free kick for Bolton once again. Uh, let's have a quick look at what's going on for them. Uh, Birmingham are drawing with Oxford, so as it stands, Bolton would be safe. March plays it into a rebo. Through ball to Traore, who misses it. That's a huge chance. Traore, with a free kick, sends it over the bar. Birmingham have equalised. However, goal difference-wise, I think Bolton are going to be safe regardless. We've only got a few minutes to go to try and find something here. Stansfield is going to come on. Shane Kelly can come on for Sully March and Franklin come on for Cassius. And we have drawn our game 1-1, which unfortunately means we aren't going to be making the most of the potential slip-ups. I, I think those slip-ups did remain in place. So Stoke ended up winning, which... Had we won, okay, we would have only finished as high as 7th. I'm not upset about that as I was. But unfortunately, it's a draw on the final day. So it is a short episode today. However, the season is over. we finished ninth, which considering when we took over, I think we were 13th. We've turned them around. Oxford, we're very happy to say finished 13th. So they are well and truly safe. Hopefully that will continue next season as well. Meanwhile, for ourselves, we're going to be looking at getting that transfer market underway, see what we can do, turn this team into a title-winning team next season will be the target. Blackburn and Leeds are the teams leaving us. You would expect Brighton to win their game to go up with those two. Um, what did they do on the final day? Brighton ended up... Winning 3-1 against Swansea, so they could only overtake Blackburn, and Blackburn were out of reach for them. Coming down from the Premier League, only Sheffield United are confirmed so far, with Brentford, Forest, Norwich, and Watford all kind of in that chunk of teams that are in danger. So it'll be interesting. Manchester United are 10th. I applied for that job mid-season. It was very ambitious, don't get me wrong. But probably understandable they didn't take me on. But nevertheless... City have already won the league up there. But our focus is on the championship. We've put ourselves in a good position here now to build into next season. I'll be honest, Malpe, I was looking at getting rid of. But if we look at his form at the end of the season, uh, if we go into here, since we took over, which was the game against Portsmouth, his scoring record has been phenomenal. 17 goals and that's in the 20 games and four of those were before I took over so he couldn't have an impact in, under me in, in those games he's had two four goal games it's safe to say Malpe has earned his stay the rest of the team there's a fair few of them up for debate if we can get some good money for them I'd definitely be interested in looking at selling we've got 21 million pounds to spend and we've got about 200 grand on well 250 grand on our wage budget once we look at the committed spending so we've definitely got a lot of things where we can look at this team and bring in some new players i think it's already a good team we just need to refresh it with some new young blood which we've already got in the squad because we've got Shane Kelly a fantastic player who's coming through Stansfield is another good player uh, obviously, we mentioned Bevis before. He's already established himself. We've got Jack Jones. Maybe we can try a partnership of those two at the back, potentially in pre-season and see what we can do. And then we've got some of the older players, Krunic, March, Boy. We're going to be starting to look and to move some of these guys on because if we get into the Premier League, they're probably not going to be suitable for us anymore anyway whereas some of the younger players they can grow into the premier league with us 
But if you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Comment what do you think I can achieve next season with this Burnley team. Subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And thank you very much for watching.